99 can be a difficult ride. That's why you need to listen for Sea to Sky Roads and Weather together every 20 minutes. The awesome views, distracting. To get there safely. The twists and turns, demanding. Mountain FM. It's the Sea to Sky Highway, an uneasy coexistence between car and cliff, between road and rock. It's a demanding highway. The Sea to Sky's official name is Highway 99. This stretch starts just outside Vancouver and snakes its way for over 100 kilometers to Whistler, a popular ski resort. Everything is changing constantly here on this highway. Especially the weather. You may have sunny spots here, we may have rain, we may have black ice and snow. Highway 99, north of Squamish, you might find mixed rain and snow. Unpredictable conditions and equally unpredictable drivers. Yeah, there we go with the Yahoos, pulling their moves already. A lot of impatience, uh, people in a hurry to get nowhere. The Insurance Corporation of British Columbia says Highway 99 is one of BC's most dangerous stretches of road with 123 accidents last year. That's about 11 a month. Two months ago, two people were killed in this collision. On average, seven people die every year traveling to see the sky. If you make mistakes, they can be fatal. But what actually makes this highway dangerous? Is it the road or the people who drive on it? For answers, we talk to the people who know, the driving veterans who use it every day. We're just entering the Highway 99, also referred to as the Sea to Sky Highway, and we're going to be heading south. Bill Van Veen drives tour buses between Whistler and Vancouver. He's driven the Highway 99 route for the last six years. Van Veen says the highway used to be extremely dangerous. Built in 1957, the highway married the growing city of Vancouver with lumber towns up the coast. But as you can see, no road barriers, little protection. As the resort of Whistler developed, traffic on the road increased. So far this year, 13 people have died in accidents on this treacherous road. That's 16 times the national average. It's that was in 1980. In the 80s and 90s, rock slides were common, like this one near Squamish a decade ago. The government pumped in millions into improving the road. Safety measures included fencing, which controls the slides, there's more signs, warning of the next turn, and the next hazard. And there's more passing lanes. Van Veen says even more can be done. A few more passing lanes, uh, a few blind corners taken out would definitely help. But Van Veen says the biggest problem isn't the road, it's the drivers who use it. His pet peeve, the tourists, who decide to rent a car for the drive to Whistler. Because they are on holidays, uh, we like to say they sometimes leave their brains at the airport. They hop in a car that they're not familiar with, drive a road they're not familiar with, pull over where they shouldn't or stop in the middle of the road to look at the beautiful scenery, and they can cause a lot of problems too. You know, this is where we have a lot of our problems, right in this stretch of four lane. Constable Lee Hamilton patrols the sea to sky between Whistler and Squamish. He's been doing it for over a decade. The risk factor on this highway is uh, larger than most highways, just due to the, I'd say, to the high level of frustration that people feel. Frustration which occurs when you combine drivers obeying the speed limit with others who are in a rush. So here you have somebody who's traveling at 122 kilometers per hour. This white van. Just to get by the logging truck, I'm sure. That's 42 kilometers over the 80k speed limit a possible $345 fine. What I've done is I've reduced it down to 173. I know it's still a bummer to get a $173 fine, but uh, no, this For one Hamilton, the, the problem on the sea to sky is straightforward. It's not the engineering of the highway that's the problem, it's the drivers themselves. Another guy who knows a lot about the drive on the sea to sky highway is this guy, Mike Johnson. He's a CBC cameraman. And Mike, what, you've been doing the commute for? Every day, twice a day for 11 years. And what, what do you find about, uh, what strikes you about the highway? The thing that amazes me most is how accustomed you can get to the stupid moves that some of these people pull while they're driving this highway. 
Mike's right. A University of British Columbia study concluded 90% of the accidents on Highway 99 were a result of driver error. And it says there is little connection between the road's engineering and accident rates. Okay, if the condition of the Sea to Sky Highway isn't the actual main safety issue, but rather it's the people who drive on it, what then is the solution? Go, 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 go. You'd never walk like this. So why would you drive like this? Education is one solution. The Insurance Corporation of British Columbia is hoping to change driving behavior through ad campaigns like this one. You'd never swim like this. So why would you drive like this? There's education and there's enforcement. What we've got is an unmarked car here. Constable Joe Schofield is with the Squamish RCMP. Well, we're finding that people are passing us on the double solid or at the end of merge lanes, and which certainly makes it easier for us to identify you know, who these aggressive drivers, drivers are. And there's more aggressive drivers because the sheer volume of traffic on this road has increased about 10% a year for the last six years. Now, up to 15,000 vehicles use the sea to sky every day. That's a lot for a small two-lane highway. In response, the police beefed up their staff. Now nine full-time traffic officers patrol the highway. Six years ago, there were four. Plus, the RCMP and ICBC started Watch 99, a project that encourages people to phone in and report a driver they see driving dangerously. The police will do follow-up as far in the way of issuing a warning letter, making them aware of the offenses that this caller had identified. It may seem sneaky, but Schofield says very few people call back to complain. And the police hope private shaming will lead to public safety. Our objective is to get people to slow down, to be prepared, be alert. The RCMP say one thing could improve the safety of the Sea to Sky Highway. Make it four lanes. The cost? $1.3 billion. A dream right now that may only become a reality if Vancouver Whistler gets the 2010 Winter Olympics. A decision about that will be made in 2003. Do you have any legal justification for traveling 132 in an 80 zone? Meanwhile, police keep up enforcement, hoping drivers will get the message to slow down and enjoy the view from the sea to sky. Sudha Krishna, CBC News on Highway 99, outside Vancouver.